All right, here we're going to look at uh, an example using Euler's method for solving differential equations numerically. Um, and here's kind of the, uh, the formula for Euler, Euler's method. The very last line is really the line that we're going to be, uh, you know, using, filling in this information kind of repeatedly. Nothing terrible about it once you know how to do them. Um, you know, it's just going to be a little tedious with all the arithmetic, but, but hopefully not, not, not anything worse than that. So we're going to use Euler's method with a step size of 0 0.3 to uh, approximate the y value, y of 0 0.9, of the solution of the initial value problem, y prime equals x squared, and y of 0 equals 1. All right, so I'm going to start filling in our little formula here. So to get our, uh, so, so initially, you know, we're starting at 0, and we're using step sizes of 0.3. To eventually approximate the y value associated with uh, 0 0.9, so we'll have to use Euler's method a couple times. So I'm going to fill in this formula. So it says uh, the first y value that we're going to approximate, and this is going to go with 0 0.3, it says, well, that's going to equal the original y value plus the step size h. And then we'll have to take um, f of x sub 0 times, or f of x sub 0 and y sub 0. Okay, so our y naught value, that's the, the value that we're starting with. And it says our initial y value is going to be y equals 1. And then we take our step size of 0 0.3. And then uh, our f of, uh, our, our capital F represents the derivative. So it says uh, we have to plug in the value x sub 0 and y sub 0, uh, respectively for x and y. Well, notice our differential, uh, uh, our derivative doesn't have any, uh, any y's in there, so that's okay. So we'll plug in the initial uh, x value. In this case, our x sub 0 was just 0. So we're going to end up with 0 squared. So if we simplify this, we'll just have, well... 1 plus uh, 0 0.3 times 0 squared. That's just going to leave us with our initial y value of uh, 1. Okay, so now it says our, uh, so now we're sitting at the x value 0 0.3 and the y value of 1. So our y sub 2, it says we would take the uh, y1 value plus, again, our step size of 0 0.3 and then we'll have to take f of uh, x sub 1 comma y sub 1. So again, this is going to be our x sub 1 value, and this is going to be our y sub 1 value. So it says y1 is 1 plus 0 0.3. And now into our derivative, we have to plug in 0 0.3 for x and 1 for y. But again, there's no, uh, there's no y's in the derivative formula. So we're going to take x squared, which is 0 0.3, and now we'll have to uh, simplify this. So we've got, I guess, uh, 0 0.3 cubed, I guess that shouldn't be too terrible, uh, plus 1, so 1.027. That's going to be our approximation, so the approximate y value that would go with 0 0.6 would be the y value of 1.027. And now we have to simply do this one more time. So our third approximation is going to be y sub 2, again plus the step size 0 0.3, f of x sub 2, y sub 2. Again, this is going to be x sub 2. This is going to be y sub 2. So I'm going to plug all those numbers in there. So again, y sub 2 is 1.027 times 0 0.3. Again, our derivative only involved x squared, so we'll plug in 0 0.6. And now we can simplify this. So let's see, um, 0.6 squared, that's just 0.36. If we multiply that by 0.3, um, I'm getting 0.108. And then if we add 1.027, 
I'm getting uh, 1.135. So we've now uh, done this a couple times. So it says at the point 0 0.9, our approximate y value would be 1.135. And that's all there is to it. So, um, so we've now approximated. So we could say y of 0 0.9, again, is going to be roughly equal to 1.135. Again, that's our approximation here using Euler's method.